Hey everybody, Jen Chicago here, and I am with my friend and dance buddy, Stacy Bennett of Dance Out Loud. Hi, Stacy. Hi, Jen. Um, I think this is so cool that we can like talk virtually because we don't get to hang out nearly as much as uh, we say that we should. I know, I know, this is great. I know, but I'll see you Friday, which uh, yeah. brings us to what we're going to chat about, which is Dance Out Loud. Now, uh, tell us how you came up with, with, with the concept. Well, it started with trying to turn a negative into a positive. Uh, I lost my mom and three aunts to ovarian cancer and then found out that I had the same gene that they had, which puts me at a dramatically increased risk of, of getting breast or ovarian cancer. So initially that was very scary, but then I was introduced to an organization called Bright Pink through my genetic counselor, which is designed specifically for young women at high risk. And it's an amazing organization that really helped turn it into more of me being able to be proactive instead of just being scared and feeling like I, you know, I was a ticking time bomb. And so I wanted to do something to, uh, to kind of thank them as well as raise awareness for ovarian cancer because it's known as the silent killer um, because the, the symptoms are very mild and often it's not discovered until it's too late. And there's no screening, like there, there's not a mammogram or a pap smear or anything like that for ovarian cancer. So that's where Dance Out Loud came about. It's, you know, bringing that to the forefront out loud. And, and I love dance parties, and I wanted to do something fun, not just, it's a serious issue, but I wanted to make it fun. So that's where Dance Out Loud came about. And uh, I, I also am still stuck in the 80s and 90s, so it's an 80s and 90s dance party, which I think will be really fun, but also bring awareness to the issue and um, help Bright Pink do more work that, they're, that they do. Tell me more, because you've been working on this You've been tweeting and Facebooking about this event for a long time, so tell me everything. I know you've got uh, you've got some sponsors and some uh, cool stuff going on. We encourage people to come dressed in eighties, nineties garb. More the more outrageous, the better. Yeah. So and clearly, and, and on, on my Twitter and Facebook, I've been posting a lot of fun things I've found from the eighties that remembering some of those. Yes, yeah, some fantastic fashions that yeah. um, we'd love to create. So, yeah, there'll be three $250 prize packs for best costumes. Um, and those prize packs include uh, merchandise from C9 by Champion, Rodan and Fields Skincare, um, Team Fit. And so it, it's, it's really, I mean, it's fun to dress up anyway, but you yeah. can actually get a pretty good reward for it. I, for one, did never get enough dressing up out of my system right. yeah and that's how I am I'm always looking for an excuse so I, I threw it into this and um and so then it'll be three hours of of dancing to 80s and 90s tunes it's at the Brownstone Tavern um there it's a wide if you haven't been there it's a wide open space oh, nice. for dancing and then there's a little lounge area up uh, kind of in the back where um, C9 by Champion will be kind of hosting an area where you can rest and relax um, open bar, bottomless appetizers. I it's like it. I like <laughs> it. Well, I mean, I feel like if there's three grand prizes, like my chance, three, you know, costume prizes, yeah, my chances are really good. Right, right. I, am, I know I, you're creative, so yeah, I have confidence. I'm going to go, you know what, even though they're not the 80s or 90s, LMFAO, they, they like to wear a lot of spandex, too. Yes. Well, <laughs> a lot of the 80s are coming back, so it's not that hard. I was at an 80s party a few days ago, and people had gone out to Forever 21 and random stores and gotten stuff that... Yeah, they didn't even have to go to Goodwill or go... Or no. Go and, yeah, it's like, it's right there. Right, So, right. um, so every, I'm definitely going to be there. Um, how do people find out how to go to the event or, or to get more information in general? Yeah, we have a website uh, that's danceoutloud.org. Um, and all the information is there. You can buy tickets there. You can link to our Twitter and Facebook feed, and that has more information as well. Um, but, yeah, that's the place to go to get tickets. Nice. Well, uh, is there anything I didn't ask you? Did I forget anything? Anything you want to tell me about? Uh, well, and we uh, you also get with your ticket an event shirt that is the oh. shirt from C9 by Champion. So a, a good, you can keep it going yeah. after, after okay. the party. <laughs> yeah, I'm a big fan of T-shirts. Right, yeah, and uh, ticket sales go up, the price goes up at the door, so buy your tickets in advance. That's right, see, it pays to not be a procrastinator. Right. <laughs> All right, well, that's fantastic. Um, yeah, I guess I'll see you Friday, and, and we'll do some... 
Ooh, I like <laughs> it. Very nice. All right. All right. Well, thanks so much, Stacey. I'll talk to you, you soon. I'll see you Friday. Great. Okay. Bye. Bye. Stacey Bennett of Dance Out Loud. How stay Dance Out Loud. I'm like, a <laughs> <laughs> let me start over.